what they're saying is we need to find the zeros of the equation and we need to find the relationship let's take the first equation x square minus 2x minus 8 now if this is the equation or polynomial is equal to 0 let's quickly find how to solve this quadratic equation So we know that we got the two zeros here. Now let's see relationship between zeros and coefficient. Here. It's a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero. So what is a? a is equal to one. b is equal to minus two, and c is equal to minus eight. And what are the roots here? x is equal to four, and x is equal to minus two. So Let's establish a relationship. Roots are alpha and beta. So what is alpha plus beta? It is minus b by a. Let's check. What is b? Minus 2. So minus of minus 2. Why? Because it is minus b. So b's value is minus 2. And what is a? 1. So what is the answer? 2. Okay. What is alpha plus beta? If you add both the roots, what is one root? 4 and the other root is minus 2. 4 minus 2. Why? The answer is 2. Is it meeting? 2 is equal to 2. Which means we are verifying alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. And what is alpha beta? Is equal to c by a. What is c? Minus 8 and what is a? 1. Now what is alpha here? Alpha is 4 and beta is minus 2. So 4 into minus 2 is equal to minus 8. Minus 8 happens to be equal to minus 8. So which means alpha into beta is equal to C by A. We verify. 4S square minus 4S plus 1. Okay, so what is the standard form of quadratic equation? AX square plus BX plus C is equal to 0. What is A here? 4 b is minus 4 and what is c 1 we studied in 8th and 9th standard to find the roots of this equation we did know a formula and what was that formula it was alpha or beta is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a where a is the coefficient of x square, b is the coefficient of x and c is the constant. We know this formula. If not, this is the standard formula to find square root or zeros of a quadratic equation. Now let's substitute the values here because I don't have the energy to solve this entire equation by splitting into factors and finding the roots. Rather, I just use this formula. So minus b. b is minus 4 plus or minus square root of b square it's minus 4 square minus 4 into a is 4 into c is 1 look at the values here divided by what is 2 into what is a 4 now let us see what's the answer so minus of minus 4 becomes 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square is 16 Minus of minus 16 divided by 8. So what is the answer here? This becomes 0. So it's 4 divided by 8. So the answer is half. So what are the what are the zeros here? Alpha is equal to half and beta is equal to half. Okay, now let's check alpha plus beta. What is alpha plus beta? It is minus b by a. What is minus b? It's minus of minus 4. We have seen what is b here. And what is a? 4. So the answer is 1. Now if you add alpha and beta, do you get answer as 1? It is half plus half. Do you get answer as 1? The answer is true. What is alpha into beta? What is alpha? We know that the alpha is half and beta is half. So half into half becomes 1 4. Now let's check by formula. It is C by A. What is C? 1. 
and what is a 4 alpha into beta is 1 by 4 and what is c by a 1 by 4 is it meeting the criteria yes so i am sure we will be able to solve the other examples in this exercise i will take you to the other one which is second here which says we have to find the quadratic polynomial and what we are given are the sum and products of roots. Let's look at the first question. They are saying the sum of the roots is 1 by 4 and the product of the roots is minus 1. Sum is alpha plus beta is equal to 1 by 4 and the product of the roots is alpha beta which is minus 1. Now we have to find out what is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0? Let us find out. What is alpha plus beta? It is equal to c by a. Oh, uh -huh. no, 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 no. It's minus b by a. So what is minus b by a? Can we say that that is equal to 1 by 4? Yes, we can say that. And what is alpha beta? That is equal to c by a. We know that alpha beta is equal to minus 1 and alpha beta is equal to c by a. So c by a is equal to minus 1. Now you have three variables which is a, b and c and only two equations. How can you find the answer? Actually it's difficult but I'll tell you a trick. If you see the denominator a as 4, so you call this as if a is equal to 4. Right? If a is equal to 4, then b is equal to minus 1. If b is equal to minus 1 and a is equal to 4, then what is c? c is equal to minus 4. Why? Because if you substitute a 4 here, then you will get c as minus 4. Now let's substitute in this equation. 4x square minus x minus 4 is equal to 0. So we got the equation here. Now we have to verify whether this equation is right or not. Let us verify. 4x square minus x minus 4. So we got 4x square minus x minus 4 is equal to 0 as the quadratic equation. Right? Now we need to verify it, whether it is right or wrong. What is the equation to find the zeros or the roots? It is minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a where this is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. What is a? 4. What is b? Minus 1. And what is c? Minus 4. Okay, let me substitute in this and find the values here. So I am saying zeros. So this happens to be equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 65. If you add and subtract here, divided by 8. So which is the first alpha here? 1 plus root of 65 divided by 8. And what is beta here? 1 minus root of 65 divided by 8. Now what did the question tell us? The question told us the sum of the roots is equal to 1 by 4. Let us check the sum of the roots. Alpha plus beta. 1 plus root of 65 divided by 8 plus 1 minus root of 65 divided by 8. If I add both of them, what I would get is, I would get 1 by 8 plus root of 65 by 8 plus 1 by 8 minus root of 65 by 8. This would get cancelled. So what is the eventual answer? It is 2 by 8 which is 1 by 4. Did you not get 1 by 4 from the question? Absolutely. Let's see product of the roots. What is the product of the roots that the question gave us? It told us that the product of roots ideally should be minus 1. Let us check. It is 1 plus root of 65 divided by 8 multiplied by 1 minus square root of 65 divided by 8. What is the eventual answer? It's a square minus b square. So it is 1 minus 65 divided into 8. So what is the answer for this? Minus 1. 
so we could verify whatever the question was given so the ultimate answer is this let us solve few more so they are saying alpha plus beta is equal to square root of 2 and alpha beta is equal to 1 by 3 let us check alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a is equal to square root of 2 and alpha beta is equal to c by a and that is equal to 1 by 3 we set the same logic here look at the denominator here you have three variables and you have two equations very difficult to solve but the best way and the trick here to solve is look at a here look at a here what's the a in the denominator 3 so if we say if a is equal to 3 then if a is equal to 3 you substitute then you get c is equal to 1 yes absolutely then what is b if a is equal to 3 then b is equal to minus 3 root 2 are we right because i substitute a is equal to 3 here and it goes here a and the sign moves here so it becomes minus 3 root 2 let me substitute and get the answer ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is my equation what 3x square minus 3 root 2 x plus 1 is equal to 0 right so we got the equation here but would you be 100% confident if this is the answer I mean you should be but we need to verify it and how do you verify this the way you verify it is we find roots here or zeros and how do we find we use the formula minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2 right now let's substitute Now let's add alpha plus beta and check. This is 6 by 6 plus what is beta? 3 root 2 divided by 6 minus 6 divided by 6. Now let's check the answer. This gets cancelled here and we get answer as root 2. Are they not saying that alpha plus beta is equal to root 2? So we have verified. You can verify it for alpha and alpha beta also. 